Part two of ACDC then and Back in Black, one of their biggest songs ever and just such a great riff to play. Uh, some fiddly bits though which we've been working through in part one of this video but this is part two now where we're going to tackle the main solo. Just to let you know we've kind of come up to this um, D chord here. <laughs> and then it launches straight into the solo, which we'll get into now. So there's a few rhythm guitar parts here that are gonna confuse things. It might sound like the lead guitar is playing uh, what the rhythm's playing, but I'll show you how the actual main guitar part is played on the uh, album version of the song. So open string on the E. Jump up an octave with your third finger to that seventh fret. I just use the same finger here to slide it down because it makes sense later on all down picks, then you're going to slide up to the 7. Now you can fret that with a 3rd there, but it can sound a bit messy, so if you want to slide up here, you can use the 4th finger, kind of separate those two notes out. I prefer to do that, so... But you don't have to. Now this is where it gets interesting. Seventh fret up here. So that's how you do that. And then you're going to slide up there onto that ninth fret with the second finger. If you listen really carefully, you actually hear. So there's a sort of there's a note that's played that isn't actually held down, so it's just a kind of noise. bit of hammering on action going on there. So these shapes are super fun to play. So you start on this 8th fret here with your first finger. Little bend. I do it with an up pick as well. Up, down, up, 3rd finger. Let this note ring as well, so it's more like this. And then there's a kind of slight picking of the, this note here on the eighth with a doubling. Then we're going to jump up here using your first finger, so it's like a change of shape. Or you can again, instead of having this bar, you can have that fourth finger if you prefer. It depends whatever you find quickest to play. And then a slight up picking and catching of this 12th fret here. Like that. Again, you can do that fourth finger if you prefer. Or even at three and two. So this is where the solo gets um, very, very, very interesting. We're on to page two of the tab now. And this phrase here. So you bend up from the 15th to the 17th. Vibrato. Like that, or you could do different picking variants, but sometimes it's nice just to do it alternate like that. We're coming down now uh, to one of the most complicated sections in terms of how it's played. So I, kind of, I think of this as a kind of um, slight break from having the guitar solo, although it is just as difficult to play. There's a lot of held open strings here which a lot of people don't realise, so this B and the E string, you're going to hear an awful lot here during this next part that's played differently almost every time on the record as well, but I'll show you how it's done. So. Hit those open strings, jump up to the 9th fret on the G string. And then you want to slide down with your 3rd finger to the 7th fret. And then you're going to take the next shape, 6-4-6-6. Six, six, six. Slide up here for this shape. 
Same again, so we're back to this ninth fret here. We don't hit these open strings for the third uh, for the third shape with this six four four six. And then just before it gets back into the chorus, you're going to slide up to here and kind of grab these with the three and the four. We can do a two and a three if you prefer, or even three, just threes. But I think three and a four is probably the best. Back into the chorus here, which we won't go through now because we've done that in part one of the video. You want to hit this G chord though if you're playing it through again, there's a slightly different patterning here. This is where it gets really, 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 really difficult, uh, which we'll go into in part three of the video. This is the fast riff with the very complicated fingers, and I, I haven't known how to play that for many a year until I finally worked it out the other day because I wrote the tab out. So we'll go into that in part three. Uh, don't miss it, but if you've enjoyed ACDC's Back in Black playthrough so far, just give us a shout uh, and do subscribe, and we'll keep doing it.